Of course, it's tea break, is it? Yes, but we're ready for class time. Ah, lecture time. We've got captured worms. I can see we've got a bucket here out of this worm farm. But they're stacking this up, having taken out the castings, and they've captured the worms, and they're ready to reset it. Each week, we capture a worm farm and reset it with new manure and reposition the worms. The worm castings, unlike compost, are a lot stickier. And this looks like worm castings here. It's, it's kind of gluggy, but it's just as good a fertiliser. It doesn't have so much fungi in it. It has lots and lots of beneficial bacteria. There's the captured material, and our nursery is going well. Everything we have on the floor here in the middle is going to be planted in the project somewhere, and all the seedlings are going in the gardens. So we have quite a bit to plant in the last week of the course, and there's quite a bit coming through as well still. We're going to leave the project with plenty of seedlings. We're reassembling the irrigation to handle all the extra trees, all these seedlings. And there'll be four baths of worm castings come through. And there'll be four cubic meters of compost produced in our gardens. And our crop garden is quite a lot larger. We're harvesting our first tomatoes and eggplants are already coming through. It's quite a lot bigger than the last time I walked through on film. And then up here, we've got some very sophisticated looking compost coming through. Chicken tractor on steroids. Up there, it's a, it's a picture of compost health. One compost is already left. And there's three beautiful composts up in here. The maggot bucket's going well. Our rabbits are going good up the other end. Chickens are already going up to roost. Up here. And there's a major chop and drop yet happening on the project. Our rabbits. Rabbits here. They're a little bit underground, the rabbits. Keeps them a bit cooler. But the manure is easier to collect and goes through to the chickens on the other side. And our citrus trees are really taken off with the cooler weather. A little bit of rain we've had. Our new spiky pits fill in. Be a lot more full next week because we'll have the big chop and drop underway. Our reed bed has taken off with all the showers over the last month. The place is generally a lot more fertilised. It's compost and mulch tidy everywhere. Actually, now someone camping next to the spiky pit, and I'll show you. The spiky pit is here. But it'll be over full by next week. Here's our reed bed just as it's all finishing, but there's another court starting with the Jordanian government. We've been fueling our rocket stove here. So we've got a little rocket stove that we've made on previous courses. Every day we're making biochar. It's got a simple biochar burner, combination of the fire and the central drum and a very crude lid there. And all together, one of these comes out every day. And that's just about a perfect burn, that one. Uh, a little bit of that goes into our compost tea. As every day we're making compost tea, 20 litres. Making a small barrel of biochar every single day, turning compost every day, getting one cubic metre a week out. Of course, going into the cooler time of year, winter, when things are less stressed and they grow better, then we are gonna help boost this project forward into another year and a safe journey through next summer, hopefully. Now let me just take you down. I think they've already displaced the compost. Been used in the garden. Okay. Doesn't hang about around here. There's our little air pump. That little air pump pumps 20 litres of air every minute. And that's how much liquid we have. So we have the same amount of liquid as air every minute going through. It gives you a highly oxygenated liquid so the aerobic organisms can live in that liquid. An electrician's been here because we're wiring up a new solar panel system up on the roof. A new solar panel is next door on the kitchen roof. There's our looking beds and they're starting to take off. New seedlings in. There's the Dead Sea Valley. And oh, there's the Dead Sea. Let me see. Dead Sea today distance, lowest place on earth, that wall. There's a few down to our wicked beds down below. So just to give you one more shot of the comparison around us, we're most definitely in a dry landscape and yet we are an abundant rainforest and it'll be a lot lot greener in the next few weeks because the temperature is still dropping, we're going to get a little bit of rain, things are going to get even more lush as all this compost, mulch, worm castings, biochar kicks in. We've got uh, 11 days left. I'll report to you 
as we go through the chop and drop. A lot of that canopy behind me is coming down. I'll explain why. Temperatures are going to cool. We're going to get a bit more rain, a little bit of rain, hopefully. And um, we can afford to expose the system and boost it forward for next summer's struggle through to the following winter. But it's all going great. And hopefully it's going to get better every year from now on in.